In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the speedometer cluster for 1989-560SL. Uh, even though older model, they are the same at the same cluster. The tools that you need is the a four millimeter Allen wrench, a ten millimeter Allen wrench socket, and also you need these tools from the Mercedes. It's a hook. It comes in a pair. You can buy them from the Mercedes dealer. The part number is W one four zero five eight nine zero two three three zero zero. So that's all you need. And the first thing you do is disconnect the battery in the vehicle. Uh, you can remove the ground terminal because we are going to remove the airbag. To get the airbag out, you need the 4 millimeter Allen wrench. There are two screws in the back. One here and one on the other side. You unscrew this Allen wrench and then the airbag comes out. I already loosened everything by the way. Once you get the airbag out, this is the plug for the airbag. You can just take it out easy, just pop it out because uh, you already have the battery disconnected so nothing is gonna happen. But you have to make sure you disconnect the battery first otherwise the airbag might blow on you. And the next thing you need is the uh, Allen. 10 millimeter. This screw is really, really hard. You need another person to hold the steering wheel down and then make sure that the ignition key is on. Otherwise, when you are trying to take the screw out for the steering wheel, you might damage the lock assembly for the steering wheel. So make sure your steering wheel is on so this moves freely. And then another person would be holding the steering wheel really tight and then you can open the screw. Or you can put a 2x4 down here and hold the steering wheel down by yourself. And then you just open the screw. But it's not that easy. I already loosened the screw. It's really, really hard. The two person have to hold the handlebar and then you would be able to unscrew this. The Allen. And this is the screw. It already had the lock tight on this one, that's why it's really hard to get it out. And you have to make sure when you put this Allen on the bolt you tap it in with the hammer in the back make sure it's all the way in and when you try to open it up do not bend the extension to the right or to the left it has to be centered otherwise you are going to damage the uh, the, the opening for the, to open the screw the bolt and then you before you take this one out you mark down inside the housing I already made a mark for myself with the marker so I know where, where I put it back I put it exactly where I took it out or you make your steering wheel really flat so in case if you do not make a mistake then you know it has to be in the, this flat position then you jiggle it and then it comes out once you get the steering wheel out is, uh, you can take this piece out to this plastic piece. Uh, there are three screws here, Phillips, one, two, three. Once you get this plastic pick comes out, then, then you avoid this lip over here. You might break it when you are trying to remove the cluster. Or if you are very gentle, you can just remove it and bring it above the piece. And with the, the hooks, you can insert them in this position and one this side and one to the other side and once you go inside you turn both of them clockwise with this one counterclockwise this one 
and clockwise and then you move pull them out and then here it goes the cluster comes out and you gently remove your hook and this is the lip I was telling you so you have to be very careful not to break it and here is the cluster and as you can see you have to disconnect all of these are connectors these connectors for the lamps are all marked down you have to be very careful with this big socket because there is a center lock piece uh, which when you try to remove it you might break that one so be very gentle with this piece to get it out and once you remove and there is a, this hose over here is for the vacuum you just have to disconnect it from this line you are not going to make any mistake when you put them back. You just have to remember, make sure you put all of them back. And this is where you put your hook. In here, it's going to grab here, or usually grab it in this side. And this is where you put it out. So your hook goes inside, and then you twist it, and then you pull the cluster out. And once you get your cluster out, in case if you need any repair, and the installation is just the opposite but be careful with this tip I would recommend just to remove these three screws and this one comes out easily and then you just push it in and the installation is opposite just push it in and it tights there is no screws to hold the cluster in uh, just the friction and when you put this one back in make sure you clean all of these uh, carbon contact for the horn and for the airbags here so clean everything or you can we can vacuum down here and if you need if your cluster is broken usually what happened with this Mercedes uh, clusters the odometer does not work it stops rotating because the gears they break down or uh, the trip odometer breaks down and when you push it in it does not do anything it just stays in the one place and if you need any repair of this cluster, you can send it to High Tech Electronic Services in Van Nuys, California, 818-785-8085. Thank you.